Hey girlies, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have three new palettes from Nabla and we have three looks. So I have done a look with each palette. So these are called the Cutie palettes from Nabla and they are like new releases. I believe they already had two palettes out uh, from the same Cutie collection and then they decided to add these three to the collection. Along with the palettes, they did also launch some lipsticks, which look like this. And then also these stylo pencils, which can be used in the waterline or to line the lips when i received the pr package i did receive them in sets like this so you had a palette a lipstick and one of the pencils but i don't believe they're sold like this um i did check on beauty bay and they are sold individually so yeah let's just go ahead and jump on into the looks i hope you enjoy the video Okay guys, so I'm gonna start with the Platinum palette, which looks like this. I have a feeling this one's gonna be my least favorite only because I'm not really a cool tone fan. And this one of course has cool tone shadows in there. You get this kind of brown cool tone and then this dark brown grayish cool tone and then all of these shimmers. Because I'm only using two mattes today, I am gonna start with the crease color and then I'll build on top of that with the darker color. And this, I'm gonna start it on the outer V, but begin blending it into the crease. So that is quite a deep shade i feel like if you had lighter skin this would not be like a transition you would need something to blend it into i also love that the palettes do come with a mirror so you can kind of get up close and personal to your eyes but yeah this shade is blending out beautifully it is nice and deep and dark might even make this into a halo eye this brown is so much darker than i was expecting like in the pan it looks like a normal brown but on the eyes it's definitely a deeper darker blackish brown okay now going into the darkest shade in this palette I feel like this is going to come off as a black and i'm just going to put this on the inner and outer corner trying to decide what color to use on the center of my eyes i don't know why but i really don't like silver on myself so i might go for that kind of goldy rusty old dirty gold color and i'm going to put this straight onto the center of my eye it's a nice shimmer but i feel like if it had a glitter glue underneath it it would pop even more but because i'm going to take this eye look off i don't want to go in with like glitter glue so i'm going to pick some up on the brush and just slightly wet it just to see if we can get more intensity yeah it's definitely a bit more foiled a bit more reflective now i wanted to take a little bit of this silver right in the center but i don't know if i might regret it i can tell that silver is woo pigmented yeah i'm just gonna leave it like that so it's kind of like a very small sliver of silver in the center so that is my look using the platinum palette i really like this i feel like if you like smoky eyes or you like cool tone dark smoky eyes this would be a great option for you granted cool tones are not really my thing i mean i don't love these colors on myself but in terms of how they performed on the eyes really well okay so i'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and put lashes on and i'll show you guys the final look okay guys and i'm back so here we have the final look i did also go ahead and put the lipstick on that comes in the kit the lipsticks are really nice they are creamy they glided on really well i mean they look really nice i do prefer it now that i have a lip liner with it before it was a little bit too cool toned but when i mixed it with my glory lip liner it warmed it up and darkened it a little bit so i prefer the color now the eye pencil is really nice it's not a stark white nude it's more of a like fleshy tone nude goes really nice in the waterline so really happy with the pencil and the lipstick so yeah guys this is the first set what do you think of this look i'm gonna go ahead and wash it off so we can start with look number two okay guys so moving on to the next palette i'm gonna be using the metropolitan palette which has the coolest design this is so cool and then these are the colors on the inside so once again you get two mattes in here this one and then this coral and then four shimmers which look insane so i'm gonna go ahead and start with the coral shade in the crease and this is called nothing personal you might concentrate that right on the inner corner just dabbing that and blowing it out oh that is a gorgeous color i'm really blowing that out on the inner corner okay now going into the dark brown called lord and this i'm going to concentrate on the outer v of course i feel like you can't really go wrong with these color stories because there's not tons to choose from so you don't have like unlimited options so far we've had two mattes, one lighter, one darker. So it's obviously like foolproof, I guess. I'm trying to diffuse the dark color by itself. It's really tricky, but I feel like we're getting there. Taking the slightest bit of that pinky coral shade on the edge of the dark color, just to help diffuse it into the brow bone right here. Okay, so for the lid, I think I'm gonna go for, there's so many beautiful shimmers in here. Like this one is, is this just a straight white? 
oh this one's got like a pinky reflect oh but that looks gorgeous look how glittery that is let me swatch the gold one i know i'm gonna love this gold one look at that oh my gosh what should i do i might use both of them so i think what i'm gonna do is go in with my nyx glitter glue and i'm just gonna dab that all over my lid let's give it a try so we're gonna start with the oh my god look at this color i'm just patting it on so i get more of a diffused type of look then on the inner corner going in with that bronzy shade yeah nabla definitely have the shimmer formula down like this is insane taking a small amount of that dark color blending it into the gold Okay guys, so here we have the semi-final look. I still need to do my lower lash line and my inner corner, but I'm gonna go ahead and complete my face, put some lashes on, and I'll come back to you guys with the final look. Okay guys, and I'm back. So here we have the final look, and how cute is this? I am obsessed, like the eye look is very peculiar. Like I've never, I don't think I've ever put these colors together, but I love how it looks. I love the dark outer corner, the bright pink inner corner. I did also on my inner, inner right here, tear duct type area i put that um duochrome white pink shade it actually comes off like a baby pink on the eyes called alaska gorgeous so i did use majority of the shades in here the only one i didn't use is this one but apart from that the shades are beautiful guys the mattes are gorgeous once again the shimmers are standing out for me they're so glittery foiled reflective beautiful shadows funny enough this lipstick i would have paired with the last palette i feel like this is a cool tone pale nude that would have gone beautifully with the last palette and then the last lipstick which is more like a pinky color would have gone gorgeous with this look because of the coral pink so funny enough i personally would have swapped them but i still love the color of this lipstick it is a gorgeous nude so yeah guys that is look number two and i definitely i prefer this color story on my personal skin tone i just love the warmth of the pink and the gold and i just really love this look so let me know your thoughts on this look down below once again i haven't powdered my face or anything because i'm gonna go wash it off so we can do the third and final 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 mm final look okay guys so third and final look my eyelids are actually so sore so please give this video a thumbs up because these videos do take a lot of effort and a lot of time my bum's actually gone numb as well because i've been sitting on this chair for hours so anyways the third and final palette is the wild berry palette which has cute little fruits on it and these are the colors on the inside so this one actually has the most amount of mattes in here you do get three mattes you get this kind of pinky berry tone the dark brown i do love that they include a dark outer v color in every single palette and then you get this kind of red berry color as well then you get three shimmers in here this one is like a duochrome white blue color this one is a gold satin it doesn't look as glittery as the rest of them yeah that's not even a shimmer actually that's kind of like a satin matte and then you have this one over here which is like a pink shimmer so really you get two glittery shimmers and then this one which is like a satin matte like i said so what i think i'm gonna do is start with the red blend it into the berry in the middle and then this one on the outer edge that's my thought process so far so let's just go with it taking the red color i'm gonna start this on the inner corner these mattes are really easy to work with there's not that much difference in shade they look so different in the pan oh actually this one does have more pinky Oh, I like the direction that this is going. It's giving me an idea to maybe carry it up towards the brow bone. Okay, so with the same brush, I'm gonna go into that dark shade here called Blackberry. And I'm literally just gonna wing it out here on the edge, little product and gentle pressure. Now going with my first brush and the first color that I use, I'm just gonna blend up by the brow bone, just diffusing that. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my glitter glue and I'm gonna kind of cut right along to out there. I don't like long cut creases, they're so hard to do guys. I'd rather just stick with a half cut crease, but let's see. So on the outer half, I'm gonna go into this rose tone pinky shimmer. And then for the inner portion of the eye, of course, I'm going to go into this shimmer here. Oh, that's a gorgeous shimmer. That's coming off as blue. This is actually coming out really nice, guys. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do the other side, try get them even, you know, that struggle, and then I'll come back to you guys uh, with the final look. Okay guys, so I am back with the third and final look. What do you think? I am low-key obsessed with this look. I feel like it is possibly my favorite one. I love how the lips go with the crease as well. It's just, I love this. So I did go in with the stylo pen in my waterline and also to line my lips. Love this on the lips as a lip liner, so creamy, but it stays in place as you guys can see. It doesn't bleed or anything like that and then of course for lipstick i went in with the wild berry which matches the palette it's kind of like a purpley berry type of color nabla shimmer formula in my opinion is definitely up there i really really love they're so creamy they glide on really well they're like glittery they've got micro glitters in it and they just look so wet and reflective on the eyes really really love it but of course matte performed really well as well i love that i was able to kind of like blend them and diffuse them really nicely into the cream and yeah there's nothing I can complain about I love every single look that I've done this one my favorite and then the last one that I did was my second favorite and then of course the cool tone one I, that's why I started with it because I knew it wasn't going to be my favorite but let me know which one was your favorite look down in the comment section I'm going to go and relax now because this has been I've been filming all day but I'm really glad that I got to finish off with this look also on the inner corner I did go in with the same blue shade and then on my lower lash line I just went in with the purpley berry colors and smudged it out with the pencil so yeah that is it from me please give this video a thumbs up make sure you are subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next video take care bye